In this Modern Warfare 2 video, we're going to be going over a new feature coming to a weapon that's going to be game changing. We're going to be going over all the stuff that comes in the new Black Cell Battle Pass, and this time they changed how it works, and I think it's a lot better. We're going to go over the normal Battle Pass, and there's also a feature coming to the Battle Pass that we haven't seen in the past. As always, we're going to be covering all this information in a rapid style video. That way, you can quickly watch it and get right back into game with no waste of time. So if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to unlock that subscribe button. So starting off, let's break down the Season 4 Black Cell Battle Pass, what comes in it, and how how it works the first thing we've got here is a teaser image but there's more stuff that comes into it that we'll dive into in a second the first thing here is huge new parachute and contrails the reason this is important this is the first time we've had a customizable parachute and contrails in either of the warzone games in Warzone 1, there wasn't any customizable parachutes, so this is the first one. Hopefully, this isn't going to be a feature that's exclusive to Black Cell. Now that they've added in this first one, hopefully, there's going to be other ways for you to potentially unlock new parachutes with events. Maybe in other bundles, we're going to get some parachutes as well, and they didn't break down how this works. We don't know if this is something you're going to be able to equip in the customization menu or if it's going to be tied down to the new Black Cell operators, and the only time you're going to get this new parachute is when you're using the new operators. But yes, when you're playing any battle royale maps when you first spawn in fly out of the plane or if you jump off of a building in dmz or battle royale and you use your parachute this is the parachute you're going to see and it's going to have contrails as well the next thing we have is you're going to get 1100 cod points which is ten dollars worth of cod points and you're going to get 20 tier skips so you're going to be able to skip ahead there's 100 tiers of the battle pass if you buy the black cell battle pass you're going to be able to get 20 tiers right away We've got a new weapon blueprint here, and this looks a lot like the weapon blueprint from the first Black Cell Battle Pass. So I'm assuming it's gonna have tracers, it's gonna have a death effect, it's gonna have other special muzzle flash effects, and it's gonna be animated. The other one moved across, it was animated, it was for the M4, it looked pretty cool. We're getting a new finishing move, which we can't really look at how that looks. You don't get much from the preview image. Then we've got the new operator IO, and this one looks pretty cool. You can see it's got actually effects behind it. We'll see this in action in just a second. This time, we are only getting six new Operator skins. With the first Black Cell Battle Pass, you got 12. This one's only coming with six Golden Operator skins. However, this one is coming with six Weapon Blueprints as well. The first one only had 12 Operator skins and didn't come with any Weapon Blueprints. So this one, they got rid of six of the Operator skins, but turned them into Weapon Blueprints, which in my opinion is way better, especially if these have Tracer Fires and these are animated. I would way rather have six different weapon blueprints than six operator skins. I know that's a personal opinion, but let's be honest, the IO operator skins way better than these. So most people who buy the Black Cell Battle Pass are probably going to rock this skin and pass on the rest of these. These blueprints are for weapons we haven't seen them before. This is an FTAC Siege blueprint. This is for the new AR. So if these have tracer fires and effects, we're going to get a lot of weapons that are getting tracers and effects for the very first time. Then there's two vehicle skins. These appear to be chrome like with an oil spill effect. These might look pretty sick in game. They also gave us a Black Cell Battle Pass trailer, which shows us the cosmetics in action and shows us something new coming to season four, even if you're not buying the Black Cell Battle Pass. So the first thing here is the IO Operator skin, Call of Duty season four. You can see the Operator skin has contrails on it itself. As it's walking, there's this black smoke that goes away. Then it shows us the parachute here, which is pretty cool, custom parachute. Uh, this is the intervention. So one of the black cell blueprints is going to be for the intervention. It's got a moving effect on it. There is already a tracer blueprint for this weapon, but uh, the skin for it from the Kevin Durant bundle wasn't that great. This, in my opinion, is way better. Premier Battle Pass upgrade. This is the FTAC Siege. As you can see, this is being dual wielded right here. So you are going to be able to unlock the FTAC Siege dual wield in season four the the black cell battle pass blueprint comes with a dual wield already i assume you're probably going to have to do a simple challenge to unlock the attachment like 50 hit fire kills or something like that but uh yeah that is sick and that is a fire way to use the f tech sheet that might break mp a little bit uh that was the new ar and you can see there's the black cell thing in action here it appears to be kind of like a purple metallic collar Here's the Black Cell Blueprint for the 9K. Once again, got that metallic look here. That's the new AR. And ooh, that, that was a pretty cool frame right there. It's got almost like a heated metal look to it. Here's the Operator skin and the cape of it does go chrome. You can see some of the other gold operators in the background. That one looks sick. There is a lot of gold on that. I think that's a new Nico Operator skin coming this season. There's a lot of gold on him. Just some more look at the operator skins here. These do look like they have tracers. If you look at this weapon right here, it does look like it's got a purple effect. So I think all six of those blueprints come with tracers. So just like last season, the Black Cell Battle Pass is gonna cost $30. I know that is a lot of money for a battle pass. 
that is half the price of the entire game and you're not able to use cod points even if you have 3,000 cod points saved up you're not going to be able to use that to buy this battle pass you're going to have to pull out the credit card spend 30 dollars, and that's what's going to unlock you all of this stuff they give us a little bit more information on the new operator io io like the previous black cell operator adam is an operator whose entire history was redacted by an unknown entity io is believed to be an elite soldier whose non-parallel combat rig is only matched by her abilities in the field io is planned to be only available as part of the season 4 black cell offering meaning if you don't buy the season 4 black cell battle pass you'll never have the chance to get this operator again it looks pretty cool the face of it's got that platinum cracked look on it so we'll have to see how that looks in game then it goes on to the new operator if you buy the new battle pass you're going to get this operator you don't have to buy the black cell battle pass if you buy the normal ten dollar battle pass that you can get with cod points you're going to unlock the new operator and get this skin however if you buy the black cell version you're going to get this normal one and you're going to get the golden version as well they give a backstory here but i'm not going to read through that next they talk about the new weapons we've got the tempest razorback assault rifle and the iso 45 smg these are both going to be in the battle pass but no you don't have to buy anything to get these you don't have to buy the $10 battle pass and no, you don't have to buy the $30 battle pass. If you're a completely free to play player, once you get sector D13, you're going to unlock the AR. And then once you get sector D19 is when you're going to get the SMG. You don't have to buy anything to use these. They give descriptions, but one, we've already talked about this in the past and we're going to be able to use these in game tomorrow. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to go over what these are going to do. We'll just test them out for ourselves. There are, however, blueprints you can get for these weapons and these are going to be in the paid battle pass so at sector d1 if you buy the ten dollar battle pass you're going to be able to get the no tomorrow blueprint and this is for the new smg and then if you buy the black cell battle pass once you get the sector complete you're going to get this version but you're also going to get the black cell version of it as well which has that gold animated theme and i think it's going to have tracers there's also a few other ones here at sector d6 you'll get the heavyweight intervention blueprint this one's for the ten dollar battle pass then if you have the black cell battle pass you'll get both of these we already saw a little bit of this one in the trailer and this in my opinion is probably going to be the best blueprint in the game for the intervention then we've got the reigning death marksman rifle so here's another way to unlock the crossbow and another way to get a crossbow blueprint at sector d11 this is for the normal ten dollar battle pass then they show us some of the operator skins the way this is formatted the ones on the left are for the normal ten dollar battle pass then the ones on the right are for the black cell battle pass and obviously if you buy the black cell battle pass you get all of these this is the swamp skin and this is interesting because the black cell version of this appears to have that shadow effect on the back of it so all six of the operator skins that you get for the black cell battle pass might have that trailing effect on it so then we have the next one we've got out for blood for valeria here's the normal here's the black cell battle pass once again it has that smoke effect coming off the back of it we've got the ocean frog uh normal version then the black cell version the black cell versions of these are pretty formulaic it's essentially the same thing except it's a gold version of it we've got the desert ghost for a sector d20 here's the normal version which is one of the cooler looking ghost skins then here's the gold version i find this funny because this is now the third gold ghost skin you can get in modern warfare 2 there was a bundle that had a golden ghost the first black cell battle pass had a gold version of ghost and now this is our third golden ghost skin here in modern warfare 2 once again it's got that black shadow effect on the back of it next they show us an entire overview of the season 4 battle pass so when season 4 launches and you go into game and look at the battle pass menu this is what you're going to see if you don't buy the battle pass or just buy the ten dollar battle pass this is your starting point and if you want to get the new weapons you're first going to have to go down get the new smg right here then you can go over and get the new ar however if you spend the 30 dollars and get the black cell battle pass you have the option of starting here or you can start here and branch off from this and if you want to get the new weapons it's really simple you can go down here get this blueprint for the new ar then you can go over to and get the new blueprint for the smg and you're going to have 20 free tier skips so if you buy the black cell battle pass you can get the two new weapons instantly with that if not you're going to have to branch over here and then branch way over here and it sucks because honestly that ftac siege blueprint looks sick and if you're a free-to-play player you have a long ways to go to get over to get this there is a classified section and we'll talk about what this is in just a second then when you complete the entire battle pass you're going to get the 100 percent completion rewards this is all the stuff you're going to get and yes there are black cell variants of the completion rewards as well so when you complete the entire battle pass and you do have to pay for the battle pass to get this you either have to get the 10 dollars version or the 30 dollars version you're going to get the uninvited guest 
This is the $10 version right here. This is for the new AR and it's definitely gonna have tracers and it's gonna have all that animation stuff on it. Then if you have the Black Cell Battle Pass, you're gonna get both of these. You're gonna get this version and you're gonna get the golden Black Cell version of it, which looks pretty cool. Then there's also a Black Cell version of the tier 100 skin. So if you buy the normal Battle Pass, this is the skin you're gonna get. Then if you buy the Black Cell Battle Pass, once you complete all the sectors, you're gonna get both of these. And honestly, I kind of think this one looks better. Looking at both of these, the blacks on this one are a lot darker and this one's kind of more of a gray. Yeah, it does have the gold, but this is the one time that I think the normal version, the Power Cell, I think the $10 Battle Pass version actually looks a little bit better for this. Then we've got a brand new feature and something completely mysterious coming to this Battle Pass. They say alert, new Battle Pass map sector to open at mid season. So now if we go back up to the map here, this classified section is not going to unlock till the mid season. This isn't gonna stop you from getting the 100% rewards. Even if you get all these, you can still get the 100% rewards, but at the mid season, there's gonna be this new bonus sector unlocked and we have no idea what you're gonna be able to get from this. Maybe some sort of event items with some sort of collaboration. And we don't even know. These could be all free items. These could be free items and then part of the $10 battle pass items and maybe new black cell version of items. We'll just have to wait to see. And this is the first time we've ever seen them do anything like this with a battle pass. All battle passes, you're able to get the items right off the get go, but not with this one. There's gonna be a bonus sector coming at mid season. And that's everything you know about the Modern Warfare 2 season four black cell battle pass. In my opinion, they've made some pretty big upgrades to this one. Getting the new parachute and contrails is huge. Also getting six weapon blueprints instead of one is a massive upgrade. Yes, we are getting less operator skins, but in my opinion, blueprints are way better. And we're getting two vehicle skins. And this time around, I think the vehicle skins look way better. And I think the IO operator is a lot better than Adam as an operator, but we'll have to wait till we get in game to test this out. Let me know your opinions on this. Yes, this is crazy expensive for cosmetics in game. And for most people, this is probably something you're just gonna end up skipping and it's probably not gonna be worth it. But I like gold cosmetics cosmetic so uh yeah i'll get it i'll test it out for you that way you don't have to buy it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace